Okay, we got a special delivery from Sideline Swap. I think I can tell by the curve in the box what this is. This has to be what we've all been waiting for. The newly crowned Stanley Cup champion, Alexander Ovechkin. Oh, it has to be. Look at that. Oh, that's Ovechkin's curve. Man, I get a lot of sticks sent to me. A lot of weird packaging. Most of it, very difficult. Surprised you're still standing there. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? That, that is a hook. Captain Hook here. There he is, OV8. It's got a nickname on it. That's when you know you're a boss. When you don't put Ovechkin, you put OV. Look at that blade. Just beautiful. Man, real thin there. Unbelievably, like razor sharp thin when it gets to the toe. That's unreal. I don't think I've ever felt something like that. Okay, huge thanks to Sideline Swap for sending me this. If you guys haven't checked them out, I've used a bunch of sticks uh, on their site. We recently used the Panarin one. Before that, I was using Phil Kessels. Now we're using Alexander Ovechkin. This could be the biggest one yet. I don't think I'm going to get used to this very quickly, so I'm probably going to take a little while to test it out. But let's test it out right now with a little golf ball action. Massive hook on the toe. I don't know, man. I think I might like it. I think I might like it. This is exciting. Let's go. Oh, the OV. Crazy release, man. Oh, came over. Buddy, it's not bad. It's not bad. You give up a lot of backhand, but I think I can, I think I can work with it. Ooh. Yeah, no, mine are duller than butter God. knives right now. The day, the day I lost <laughs> out, I just have you on the phone. <laughs> oh man.
God. Oh. the second one, bud. That's on you. I think this is yours, bud. Hey, 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 this is, uh, hey, sir, sir. <laughs> This is sideline swap.com. Yeah, they just we're doing a video on it. That's why I have the GoPro. So oh, okay. testing out different curves. So Ovechkin's. It's not bad. A little hard to handle, but. Oh, that's a move. That's just one move.
Nice play. Oh! I was extremely surprised by how much I actually liked this stick and at how controlled I was at keeping it down. Now, on first glance, we look at the big fish hook and the sand wedge like open toe, uh, and you think everything's going to be really high. Uh, but it was actually very easy to keep the puck down, especially when you had uh, your proper shooting form. Uh, that being said, you definitely do lose a little bit of accuracy with it. Now, part of that can be due to the fact that I was not very used to the curve, uh, but it was a little bit harder because of the unpredictability of the curve and how much it opens and curves. It was actually very deceptive on the release, which contributed to uh, me scoring a few more goals uh, on the goalie than I used to from further away. Uh, than my normal TC2 curve that I'm used to. Uh, the stick itself felt amazing on the inside. Great balance, great feel. It was a lie 6, which is what I'm used to, so that really helped me get really comfortable with it very quickly. So as we can see, we talk about it all the time here, the big hook, but it's an open toe, so the toe kind of opens up this way. Maybe you can see it a little bit better as we're like that. So the toe kind of opens up there. Now, what that means is you're gonna have a little bit less backhand toe usage, okay? It doesn't mean you can't use it. It's gonna mean that you're gonna have to rotate a little bit more using that backhand toe. So with the heel on the forehand, you don't really have to lift it up too much on the forehand side on the backhand toe, anytime you use the heel, or sorry, the toe, whether you're protecting the puck or using an elimination toe drag, there's a bit less blade to use there. What I was absolutely stunned by was how explosively the puck was popping off this stick. I had a noticeably harder shot, and that's a pretty big deal for me because that's never been a weapon uh, for me as a player. Uh, but I was giving the goalies trouble from a lot further out, uh, sniping on them a little bit more than I was used to. Uh, obviously a little bit of that was due to the deception on the release because of the curve and how weird it pops off the blade. Uh, but I was definitely noticing a lot more pace on it. Uh, and that was really exciting for me. Uh, I'm not sure what contributes to that. It was an 87 flex. Uh, the, the stiffness of the blade was pretty considerable. Um, very, very stiff. And the paper thin toe, not sure if that has anything to do with it, but I've never seen a blade that thin at the toe. So that might have something to do with what made it so powerful. Now one major advantage to these massive toe curves is that it gives you a lot more options whenever you're using the toe. You don't have to lift the heel up nearly as much off the ice, which gives you options. It makes it look like you can do a whole bunch of other moves, pass, shoot, stick handle, uh, and it really gives no clue to the defender that you're going to use the toe to pull it, drag it into the body or across the body to the backhand side. And that's really uh, a weapon in Alexander Ovechkin's arsenal. Not only does he have a lethal shot, but you'll see him fake shots and pull it between the legs or in front of the body. And the reason they have to block it is obvious. The guy can score from the top of the circle with his rocket hard shot. Uh, but at the last minute, if he sees the guys overcommit, he can pull it in tight to the body or between the legs to eliminate. And that's just something you don't get with those straighter curves. You ready for this? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh. Backhand on it, baby. Oh my god, man. I didn't even see that thing. I want to give a huge shout out to Sideline Swap for sending me this Alexander Ovechkin twig. I was really wanting to test this out. Look at this fish hook here. It's unbelievable. Razor thin right at the tip, but man, the shots were exploding off this thing. I was surprised it's an 87 flex, the Bauer Supreme, 
One S, uh, but all in all, I, it was very easy to handle. About a lie six, very good feel on the blade, uh, but just the power I got off the toe, and it was actually a lot more controlled than I thought it would be. So if you guys want to visit Sideline Swap, there's a lot of pro stock gear you can buy and sell there. They take care of all the shipping. Be sure to check those guys out, especially if you want to get your hands on one of these bad boys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.